Hello students, I am Samir and today I am going to teach you Pythagorean theorem. So as you can see here, Pythagorean theorem is a relationship between the three sides of a right angle triangle. I will explain right angle triangle later. This, is, this person is Pythagoras. Pythagoras was a Greek philosopher and after his name this theorem has, given, has been given. <coughs> so these are some uses of Pythagoras theorem. You can use it to find out the height of the buildings. You can use it to find out the length of diagonal of a rectangle or a square. You can use it to find out the distance between two places in navigation. So now what is a right angle triangle? A right angle triangle is any triangle with one of its angles which is 90 degrees. So any triangle with one of its angle which is 90 degrees it can be called a right angle triangle as you can see in this example the angle in this example there is a triangle ABC and the angle B here the angle ABC is 90 degrees so this 90 degrees any angle that is 90 degrees it, it is also called as right angle that is why this is called right angle triangle so this triangle ABC can be called as a right angle triangle. Another thing in right angle triangle is there are two smaller adjacent sides which are also called as legs of the triangle. These are usually denoted by A and B and there is a larger side in a right angle triangle which is called the hypotenuse. This is denoted by C. So now Pythagoras theorem. So in a right angle triangle when you add the edges, the, uh, the length, the squares of the lengths of the adjacent sides, it will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. As you can see here in this example, when we add the length of the adjacent sides or the legs, it, it will be equal to the length of the hypotenuse. Here you can see the formula of Pythagorean theorem. Now we will explain. When you evaluate this value into this formula, we get 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. This 3 square and 4 square is the uh, square of the length of the adjacent sides here AB and BC and this 5 square is the length of the square, square of the length of the hypotenuse AC. So when you further calculate we get 25 is equal to 25 that means this statement this equation is satisfied and the theorem is proved so now let's do some problems you draw 48 kilometers towards west and 36 kilometers towards south how far are you from the original place so when you go in west direction and then when you turn towards south you are making a right angle at your turning point so when you are making a right angle you can consider this as a right angle triangle so when you consider this journey as a right angle triangle you can use the pythagorean theorem here so when you use the pythagorean theorem when you apply the values in the theorem you get c is equal to 60 that means the originating the distance between the originating point and your final position is 60 kilometers now another question find the length of diagonal of the given rectangle so here one rectangle is given the length is the length is 15 centimeters and the breadth is 8 centimeters so we have to find out the length of the diagonal now every rectangle every square has corner angle 90 degrees so all uh, rectangles and squares have right angles at their corners so when you divide this rectangle by a diagonal you can see there is a triangle forming here and this angle is 90 degrees so we can consider this whole triangle as a right angle triangle so when you have a right angle triangle you can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length of the diagonal and the diagonal here is acting as the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle so when this is the Pythagorean theorem the values have been applied and then when you finally solve it we get c is equal to 17 that means the length of the diagonal of this rectangle is 17 centimeters so this is how you can use 
Pythagorean theorem to solve problems. Thank you for watching.